Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. With subreports, you can view the data from one main report with related data from a separate but related report as an embedded subreport within the original. This allows you to view related information from two subreports at once. It can also make the relationship between the data in the two related reports seem more clear. Subreports are often used to show summary data from one main report with supporting detailed data in a related subreport. Now when you create subreports, you may want to begin by creating two separate reports first. However, this isn't required. You can create a subreport within a report from almost any database object that you have already created, including tables, forms, and queries. To create a subreport, first open the main report into which you wish to insert the subform or subreport control in Design View. Ensure that you have the related subreport that you want to insert and display within the main report already created if needed. Also, make sure that the Use Control Wizards button is activated in the Controls group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools contextual tab within the ribbon. And note that in Access 2010, this button appears in a separate section when you click the More drop-down button that appears in the lower right corner of the control group. Next, click the Subform Subreport button that appears in the Controls group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. Then click and drag over the area within the main report where you wish to insert a subreport. Access will then automatically launch the subreport wizard to assist you in placing and connecting your two reports. Now in the first screen of the subreport wizard, you can select which object in your database contains the data that you want to show within the subreport. You can choose Use Existing Tables and Queries or Use an Existing Report or Form. Now if you select the latter option, then you must select which report or form you wish to insert from the list shown. Then click Next when you're ready to continue. Note if you select the Use Existing Tables and Queries option, then in the next screen you will be presented with a drop-down list of tables and queries in the database from which you can select. For whichever table or query you select, you can then choose which fields to display in the subreport by selecting their names from the available fields list and then clicking the single right pointing arrow button to move them into the selected fields list. You can then click Next to continue. Now in the next screen, you must select how the data in the main report is linked to the data in the subreport. If you select the Choose from a List option button, then you must select one of the listed possible ways from the list box shown below the Option button. When you select one of the ways that you could link the data and the reports together from the list, you will see text describing the relationship below the list. So this is helpful for viewing the relationship when the description of the relationship selected in the list extends beyond the edge of the list in the list box. So once you've selected the desired relationship, click the Next button to continue. Note that the other option that you have is to select Define My Own, which changes the selection below it to show two columns of drop-down menus, the Form slash Report Fields column and the Subform slash Subreport Fields column. You use the drop-downs to select which field in the main report correlate to which other fields in the sub-report, and you can connect multiple fields if necessary. The text description of the link that you have created will then appear below your drop-down menus. And once you've created the necessary links between the reports, you can simply click the Next button to continue. Now in the last screen, you can enter a name for your sub-report if needed. Then just click the Finish button to complete the insertion of the subreport into your main report.
Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.